What's up everybody? Welcome to another scalping lesson. So I'll here and today I want to teach you a five minute scalping strategy that is very profitable with high degree of accuracy. Please watch this video until the end because I will explain some important points which without paying attention to them, you cannot run this five minute scalping strategy successfully. Stay tuned and let's get started. All right, as I said, this is a five minute scalping strategy. So first we must set the time frame on TradingView platform. Here we set the chart time frame on five minutes. This is the price chart of Euro to US dollar from forex market but you can use any other asset whether it's forex crypto or stocks because this is a scalping strategy and we're going to actively trade in a day the only requirement in terms of the asset or market is trading volume and liquidity we don't want to experience any unusual price gaps or large spread between bid and ask prices because this can damage our trade entry stop loss and profit in this strategy we use three indicators which are macd stochastic and rsi for adding indicators here we click on indicators and we simply search the name the first one macd this one and for macd we should change its settings first in the style tab we uncheck macd and signal because in this strategy we only use macd histogram and then in the inputs tab here in the time frame we set it at 30 minutes by doing so this macd that is shown here is from 30 minutes time frame and we're going to use this for identifying overall trend of the market the next indicator that we should add is stochastic oscillator this one and we must change its settings here in the K% percent length, we set it at 13. For the K% percent smoothing, we set it at 8. And for D% percent smoothing, 3 is fine. And the last indicator that we should add is RSI, Relative Strength Index, this one. And we use this indicator with its default settings. Everything is already set on the chart. And let's see how we trade based on this 5-minute scalping strategy. As I said, we use this MACD for identifying the major trend of the market on higher time frame, which we set it on 30 minutes. So what we get from this MACD is not related to this time frame. And it shows the overall movement of the market on 30 minutes time frame. This uh, shows us what the major direction of the market is, regardless of the short-term movement of the market on this five minutes time frame this is a trend following strategy so after identifying direction of the market then we must identify pullbacks for any potential trade entry in the direction of the trend for example here you can see that the macd histogram is red showing declining of the price on higher time frame and also here the price is declining as you can see then we must wait for the pullback besides the price action techniques that you can use in this strategy we use stochastic for this purpose Purpose. In this situation, the stochastic must go above 50 and then when the K% percent line, the blue line, crosses below the D% percent line, the orange line, it shows that the pullback is possibly ending and the price is probably going to decline. For further confirmation of this, we use RSI. When the crossing is happening, RSI must be below 50 and this more confirms the pullback is possibly ended and the price is going to decline. So we can enter a short position here as the new candle opened the stop loss for this trade is placed above the pullback and the profit target for this position is placed at a level that makes risk to reward ratio equals 1.5 all right moving on the chart here you can see that the macd histogram bars turn to light red this shows that the downside momentum is decreasing and probably the downtrend on the higher time frame is ending having a bullish signal in this situation can be a good opportunity for catching the reversal point of the market Market at the early stages of developing but please pay attention that as long as that MACD histogram is red the downside momentum is greater than the upside momentum here you can see that the stochastic goes above 50 showing possible pullback on the chart then the K% percent line crosses below the D% percent line showing possible ending of the pullback and RSI is also below 50 which more confirms that the pullback is possibly ended and the price is going to decline more so we can open another short position here the stop loss is similarly placed above the pullback and the profit of this trade is taken at 1.5 risk to reward ratio moving on the chart you can see that the light red bars continue with constant decreasing in the size which confirms our guess that the downtrend is probably ending and here you can see that it turned to green showing that a reversal is probably happening and the market is turning to an uptrend 
Here in this part, you can see that the stochastic touched the 50 level three times. If you are an aggressive trader, you can also consider touching of the 50 level. But you can see that in this case, this one was very near to the reversal point, which is very dangerous to take a position here because we don't know yet if the reversal is successful or not. Or this one, if we look at the price action, we can see that it's not a well-developed pullback. It's more like a flat market and being close to the reversal point. This can also impose more risk and only this one was a safer entry point. So if you're an aggressive trader, you can also consider touching of 50 level, but I recommend to stick with breaking of the 50 level. Like what happened here? You can see that here the stochastic went below 50, then the K% percent line crossed above the D% percent line. And in this bullish trading setup, the RSI must be above 50, which is the case here. So we can enter a long position here as the new candle opened. The stop loss for this trade is placed below the pullback and the profit target at 1.5 risk to reward ratio. Moving on the chart, here uh, you can see that the stochastic goes below 50 but this time it continues its move and goes below 20. Please pay attention that here we have two probabilities because the MACD histogram bars turn to light green and falling in size it shows that the overall uptrend on the higher time frame maybe is losing strength and a reversal may happen and another probability is that we have a deep correction or pullback that caused the stochastic and RSI to go to an oversold status. As I mentioned earlier, as long as the MACD histogram is green, the upside momentum is greater than the downside momentum. So we put more weight on bullish signals here. In this case, after the crossing, the stochastic must go back to the blue area and also RSI should go above 50, but uh, not more than one or two candles after the stochastic turn to the blue area. In this case, you can see that it happened here, which is one candle after the stochastic turn to the blue area. Area. So we can enter a long position here at this point with the stop loss placed below this pullback because uh, the lowest low here is, uh, is a little far from our trade entry. We can place it at higher level. At this level, it could be a logical place and the profit target at 1.5 risk to reward ratio. All right, moving on the chart. Here again, the stochastic goes below 50. Then the K% percent line crosses above the D% percent line and RSI is also above 50. So we can enter another long position here at this point. The stop loss for this trade is placed below the pullback and we take the profit of this trade at 1.5 risk to reward ratio. All right, moving on the chart, we come to an important point here. As I explained in the other example, when the MACD histogram bars turn to light green and continue falling, this can show that the uptrend on the higher time frame is probably losing strength and a reversal may happen. But at the same time, we have also this probability that a deep correction or pullback is happening, especially when we have a stochastic below 20, while the MACD histogram is green and showing the upside momentum is still greater than the downside momentum. In this situation, when a crossing happens and the stochastic turns to the blue area, this can signal advancing of the price. But we also need confirmation of RSI, which as I said, the RSI must go above 50, but not more than one or two candle. And you can see that here RSI goes above 50, but it's a little bit late because you can see that it happened after four or five candles since the time the stochastic turned back to the blue area. So we don't enter any long position here at this point because RSI didn't confirm advancing of the price. Now that the advancing of the price is not confirmed, the first scenario that because of this probably ending of the uptrend or reversal of the market is happening comes forward and we must consider it. If this is the case, this should be a pullback and then the price must decline. Let's see if our indicators confirm any short position. Here you can see that we have a downside crossing which is happening above the 50 level and at the same time the RSI is below 50. So we can enter a short position here as the new candle opened. The stop loss similarly is placed above the pullback and the profit target at 1.5 risk to reward ratio. 
But please pay attention that this position is a little more risky because the MACD histogram is still green. And this is a kind of against the overall direction of the market on the higher time frame. If you're an aggressive trader, you can also take these kinds of positions for catching any potential reversals at the early stages of developing. Anyway, in this case, it didn't turn to a downtrend instantly. And you can see that the uptrend stopped and the market is in a trading range. If you also look at the MACD histogram, you can see that we have short bars constantly changing color and turning to light or dark continuously, which shows a situation of non-trending market. And when the market is in this situation, you should stop trading because the strategy that I explained is a trend following strategy and it doesn't work well when the market is not trending. Another important aspect of this strategy is risk management. This is a scalping strategy and you're going to actively trade in a day and you must understand that losing trades are part of the game and it's impossible to win every single trade. So you must exactly determine how much you will lose if the market suddenly turn against your position. For active trading such as scalping strategies, there is a risk management strategy which is called 1% rule. I have a complete guide on this. The link is also placed in the description of this video and I highly recommend you to watch it because without a proper risk management strategy, you cannot successfully and profitably run the scalping strategy that I explained in this video. Not only for this scalping strategy, but for any other trading strategies that you want to use, it's very important to manage your risk properly. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and leave a comment for me. I'll answer your questions as soon as possible. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell so you get the notifications of my new video. See you guys in next video and good luck with your trading.